is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly... You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you.
recycle the droplet pumps. System. If you don't Halcyon News. We interrupt the regularly scheduled advertisement for the following trouble? story. What do you think you're doing? Do what you want, I guess. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udon Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. I was doing some maintenance on the radiators and found this lying around. You look like you need it more than I do. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about.
I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I yelled at that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You've got my attention. Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertising. CNP Borston Baked Beans. When you need to eat and run, Borston Baked Beans. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. If you're here for this week's Magazine Club meeting, you're a touch late. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Hey boss, if you need a tour guide, I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. I'm kind of an expert. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. Well, I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Preferably not already filled out this time. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the Information Broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you.
We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Wait! Don't go just yet. I've been practicing for this. Here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Did he just say raptodons and cannibals? I can't wait! Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Thanks a bunch! Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the... tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Ooh, Charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Outstanding! What do you 
you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Well, 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 well. Let's get down to Brass Nuts then, shall we? Brass, wait, that ain't it. Brass, rats, let's, let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Velma seem out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. No, I mean... Good enough. I made it a point to stay out of her way. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like, hmm? Thanks, I'll... Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Bless your little heart, you must mean caffeinoid. If it's pep you need, one pill does the deed. Now, dearie, who's this pickup for? Aren't you a saucy thing? Now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Much as I'd love to, my rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for Caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? I'm so sorry, but with the Iconoclast and the Marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little... Extra. Aren't you a naughty girl? There are no discounts here, but Auntie knows what to do with mischievous young ladies like you. Oh, I'd have to talk to Mr. Nandi about you, of course. Anyway, 
Is there anyone else needing a pickup from Auntie Abigail? Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. If so, I would love to know where. Sublight supplies don't come cheap. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. <laughs> but there's not much I can do. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the Flower of Enlightenment. On the way, he tried some... rather daring substance combinations. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. You're gonna go tussle with some raptodons? Because I've been practicing my dropkick. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Chin up, dearie. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna. What can I do? You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Wrap mask and painted eyes, right here. Ma'am, please, I need your help. I can pay. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong, like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the woman to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. 
Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. like those old Sundays when we'd unload salt tuna shipments at the camp. I'm gonna go exploring. Come on. All right, here we go. Huh? 
I smell blood! Heads up! You hide Here they come!
Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. We make our own living here. Some of us hunt. Some of us scavenge the ruins left by the corporations when they abandoned us. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? Had hoped she'd accept my decision. Let me guess, you're here to collect it. Well, I can tell you right now, it is not gonna happen. I won't go back. My entire life, she locked me in Stellar Bay because she was afraid. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. The infamous Amber Heights. Everybody here looks wore out. Is it just me?
Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. Used up, unneeded, left to settle into ruin. Exploring some ruins. Some monsters. All we're missing is theme music. Always wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds. The... Wait, what's that smell? Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound! Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? There's nothing to work out. My baby's back home, and that's all there is to say on the matter. No, Mama. I have plenty to say about this. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my tuk-tuk home safe again. The Charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business? All of the above? More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it here. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open.
I hope you like being part of our crew, Nyoka. We're real excited to have you. Oh, I still have nightmares about this one. Fiercest, most foul creature I've ever faced. Of all the times, just shy of seven feet tall, breath like a sulfur pool. We're here. A little slow, strong as a mountain. If I recall, his name was George Gregory. I need to talk to you, Captain. Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. South here, off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent trek ahead of us. 